Hey everybody, it's John Pollock here. Coming up this Sunday, if you're in the Toronto area, you will want to go check out Smash Wrestling. It's happening at the E-Zone at 120 Queen Street North. And joining us right now, a performer and the promoter for Smash Wrestling, Sebastian Suave joins us right now. And uh, Sebastian, for those that have been following the Southern Ontario independent scene, uh, no stranger to your name. Uh, you've been a constant throughout numerous organizations and now running your own promotion with Smash Wrestling. Tell us about this kind of transition where you're not only wrestling, but you're also putting on shows. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, the great thing about it is that we have a huge team, so it's just not me. We have a lot of passionate wrestling people. Um, uh, these are fans, these are uh, wrestlers, these are friends of ours, these are uh, former fans from uh, you know other promotions in the scene. These people love wrestling, and as a team, what we're doing is trying to provide a fresh alternative to the scene. So Smash Wrestling is something that's unique and it's always going to provide people their money's worth. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, some of the matches we're going to see on Sunday. It kicks off uh, at 5 p.m. And uh, what's also cool about this is when you buy your ticket, you also get to stick around at the E-Zone uh, and get to watch the WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So tell us a bit about some of the matches happening on, sun on Sunday. Absolutely. Like you said, uh, uh, tickets start at $15. Uh, there's a post-event press conference. There's Money in the Bank after the show. There's all these unique uh, aspects of the company, like I mentioned previously. There's exciting matches. Um, through Throughout the company's history right now for about eight, nine months, we've had Scotty O'Shea and Tyson Dukes having a feud, and they're having a main event street fight at this upcoming show. Uh, and like I said, it's a fresh alternative. So you got guys like Player Uno from Dragon Gate. You got uh, Ch uh, Chikara's 3.0 on the card. There's a lot of exciting matches. Player Uno versus Brent Banks. Uh, 3.0 versus a Quebec tag team, uh, TDT. Uh, you got uh, Matt Cross, you got Gregor Iron and Psycho Mike Rollins, all notable guys in a three-way. There's a lot of exciting contests. And myself uh, with Josh Alexander, we're a tag team known as the Overdogs, and we're exclusive to Smash Wrestling. So again, it's a fresh alternative to the scene. Do you have a, a kind of a deeper appreciation now, working so many shows as, as you, you have had, now when you're kind of behind things and you're, you're also wearing the promoter's hat, uh, do you kind of see a lot of the struggles of just putting on independent wrestling? Because uh, it would be a tough, tough gig. The biggest challenge is uh, I've noticed not a lot of people uh, want to take a chance. And what we're doing is we're taking a chance. You have to invest in the product. You have to spend. You have to bring top quality wrestlers. Uh, we bring guys like Johnny Gargano and Kevin Steen. And we are bringing bigger names uh, uh, to the show consistently. And just not in the wrestlers, in the product, in the aesthetics of the show, in your advertising online. And that's one thing that I, I appreciate about my team. Uh, uh, we have a new website coming out. Uh, we're updating smash-wrestling.com. Uh, people can purchase tickets through there. And that's going to be a top-notch website. Our video editing is going to do the same. So um, the appreciation I have is that uh, with promoting, you got to take risks of being the best. you got to do a n number one job. You can't settle for average. Well, it is coming up this Sunday, 5 p.m. at the E-Zone. That's 120 Queen Street North. And they're going to be back August 18th featuring Brian Kendrick and Paul London, who are going to be working Smash Wrestling. Go search them on Facebook, and you can get tickets for $15. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Thank you, John. And check it out this coming Sunday.